what's going on YouTube guys coming back to you guys with another video on lifetime special that came on Saturday guys and I'm late on reviewing it but guys I have to really really give a, a important feedback off this amazing lifetime movie which I think is probably one of my favorite lifetime specials guys it kind of had a little bit of oh this is kind of reminding me of a 2.0 What's Love Got To Do With It? You know, it's kind of like a 2016 version of What's Love Got To Do With It? Michelle A, guys, who was an amazing singer back in the 90s, guys, and she's now recording a new album, I, I guess, finally. You know, she has a very amazing voice. She's done songs, you know. She talks squeaky, but she's a very, very... That's, that's, that, that's not the issue. She has been battered. And, guys, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm so against... Uh, domestic violence, you know, so many, I just, I just hate to see a woman getting beat, you know, and in the process of getting beat up, you know, this is a really, really, really not, I just, I just hate that so much, I do not like domestic violence, uh, I am, however, okay, a Dr. Dre fan, but, you know, I kind of, after seeing this movie, it kind of, you know, I'm not trying to say that, I, I, I lost respect for Dr. Dre because I'm, I'm a huge Dr. Dre fan. I have grew up listening to his music, The Chronic, you know, his albums, The Compton album, which is still my favorite. And just after looking at this movie, I, I really, 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 really didn't know how bad Dr. Dre was as far as being, a, a, being abusive towards women. He was very abusive, guys. If you look at this movie, to women, you might shed tears. I know it's a lot of women who have been through this situation and I hate to see women go through this. Dr. Dre has stated an apology last year. Uh, you know, I guess a little bit after uh, Straight Outta Compton came out and the Compton album came out. He, you know, said he apologized to all the women that he's ever abused. You know, um, I don't know if he necessarily said an apology towards Michelle Lay personally, but it's just, it's just so much stuff that she went through, and it's just after looking at the story, it, the story that she's went through, like, it, it just, wow, it just really, really had me shook, and it had me kind of, like, on edge a little bit after looking at it, because it's kind of a tough watch, it's a very good movie, it's like a Compton, straight out of Compton Part 2, kind of, but it's like her version, it's Michelle A's version of it. Now, the movie is... It's, 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 it's pretty okay, you know, the actors were kind of, you know, but uh, the person who played Dr. Dre actually really did a good job, in my in my opinion, he did a good job. Uh, the person who played Michelle Lay really has her voice down pack, okay, I don't know who she is, but I think that she really did an amazing job as far as sounding like her, you know, talk, you know, as far as talking and things like that, but... The movie was great. Now, not only was Dr. Dre abusive, tour, abusive towards Michelle Lay, uh, Suge Knight as well. So, you know, she put her trust in Suge Knight and he did the same thing. And, you know, it was kind of like a repeat, repeat. Even though I think it would have got worse if she stayed with Suge Knight. But overall, you know, you in the movie, you just see that, you know, you can see it throughout the movie that Dr. Dre had a drinking problem, you know, back then. And he was very abusive towards the women he was with. And, you know, it, it's just, it, it's, it comes as a surprise because, you know, a lot of people in the hip-hop community look up to him. You know, a lot of... A lot of uh, people who are fans of Dr. Dre look up to him, you know. If they see this, they might be a little, uh, might, might be a little um, shocked and surprised by how abusive he was towards Michelle Lay because she was, they were once madly in love with each other, as you see throughout the movie. They were in love with each other, but also, you know, she went through hell with him. You know, he was seeing other women behind her back and just not being a good example uh, she gained it. She had a child, a child by Dr. Dre and Suge as well. You know, and throughout those battered relationships that she been in, she gained two blessings. And I guess that she just wanted to, you know, set a. Uh, she's now she's trying to set a better example for her children, you know, and live right for them. Uh, after after really 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 getting to the depths of what Michelle A went through, I really really didn't know how bad it was until after I seen the movie. You know, it started off lovey dovey with her and Dre, then it went from him drinking a lot to taking his per personal frustrations out on her, 
and just he just he just was kind of over the top with some things and kind of kind of came off a little scary in some points as well, popping up at places and dark places and just punching on her ribs and just just a lot a lot a lot. A lot. It's just it was just a lot that this girl went through, and after looking at it, it really makes me gain a lot more respect for her because uh, that's just not a good thing. Abuse is just not a good thing, and I'm just I'm just totally against it. Uh, and after seeing it, it just it just really really puts you in a, a deep place. Like wow, you know, uh, just just to see it, it, you could tell it was very hard for her to tell her story. And, uh, it, it, even though Dr. Dre denies it, I very much so believe it is very true. Because I honestly think, and you realize if you see Straight Outta Compton, a lot of stuff that he did not put in the movie. He didn't even have Misha Lay in the movie. And even when I went to the movie theaters to see it, I was wondering to myself, like, why doesn't he have Misha Lay in the movie, you know, why does he put her? And I noticed it was a reason why. So when I looked at the movie, I said, "Well, this is the reason why he didn't put Michelle in the movie." But you know, that wasn't his story to tell. This was hers to tell. You know, it's on two. It's on two separate accounts. He's telling N.W.A. You know, and I I, I, I respect that on his point. But Michelle A. wanted to tell that she was also in Ruthless Records. A lot of people don't know that, but she was with. She was also signed to Easy E's record label. She was treated as the 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 sister, you know. Uh, Easy E and her were very close. Uh, not only was Michelle A close with Easy E, but she was close with Tupac, and just you know, she was uh, she was loved by a lot of people when she was with Death Row Records and Ruthless Records, and you know, it's just that. I didn't know that she went through a lot of that stuff. She had some amazing songs around that time. She went on tour. You know, uh, coming up as a kid, I never really, really had the time to really get into Misha L.A. like that. You know, because she did songs that I didn't know that she did as well. So, I was very, very impressed with this movie overall. I, I have to give Lifetime the props. Even the reason why is because she told the story herself. And it, it, it's not like the Aliyah movie or, you know, the Whitney Houston movie. Because those movies just was not good because they weren't there to tell the story themselves. But the Tony Braxton movie was good, and this one, you know, was good as well because Tony told her story and Michelle A told hers. And this is how you know they're true because otherwise, why else would the story be told? So I feel like this was a great lifetime movie. This was one of the best ones. That I would say it's like a straight out of Compton Part Two, the Michelle A version. Okay, that's what I'm gonna call it. But it, it also kind of reminded me of what's love got to do with it. This was like another I I Cantina kind of. You know, it was a lot of abuse. It was graphic language. They let them say shit on Lifetime now. And it's just... But anyway, it was graphic. It, you know, it was a little nakedness on there on the movie as well. Uh, the actors really didn't look like it. The person who played Tupac, I didn't know that they was going to put Tupac on a movie, and uh, you know, I got something to say about that, but I might say that for another video. I might say that for another video, but anyway, I'm gonna keep it, keep this video nice and short. I don't want to stay too long talking about it, but I just wanted to say that if you guys check out the movie, you will be very, very shocked at how Dr. Dre used to be, you know, when he used to have a drinker problem, and you will be very, very shocked. Well, I'm not shocked, I'm not, I'm, I'm not shocked about Chug Knight because that's another subject I'm gonna keep to myself, but. I ain't shocked about that at all. But as far as Dr. Dre, I'm very, very shocked about that. I didn't know it was that bad, bro. I didn't know it was that bad. He really had it bad as far as drinking and things like that. But other than that, this is where I wrap up the video. Uh, I hope you guys have a great night. Uh, other than that, I have to give Misha Lay her props for telling her story because I know it was very, very hard for her to share her story. But other than that, this movie was amazing. I have to give Lifetime a props this time because I think that they did a really good job with this. And Misha Lay did a good job. So, good night. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this all day, every day. Make sure you check me out. Deuces.